Hello, uh, this is Dinesh. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to my recent uh, review article on nanotechnology and diabetic wound healing. As we all know that the incidence rates of diabetes is on a rise. Uh, one of the major complications of uh, diabetes is the diabetic wound, or diabetic wound and the management of diabetic wound healing. Now, there are several uh, strategies uh, to deal with diabetic wounds, but however, there are several limitations. For example, uh, when it comes to the rate and healing of the wound, lately there are several uh, strategies which are in place to kind of counter the problem of diabetic wounds, but um, this is what something which we have uh, uh, put across in our review. We have tried to tried to or attempted to uh, capture the current literature on uh, diabetic wounds with, re with regard to nano nanotechnological interventions. When we see a normal wound healing, there are several phases involved in it. Uh, it starts with uh, inflammation, then epithelization, sorry, re-epithelization, then we have um, uh, tissue granulation, and finally tissue remodeling. Now these phases, however, they have distinct functions, but somehow they overlap, eventually resulting in a complex systematic uh, process uh, leading to wound healing. Now this is not the, not, this is not the case when it comes to uh, diabetic wounds. In case of diabetic wounds, what happens is that now these phases are, they go away and the, the time duration in, for these phases are quite, a, quite, 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 quite a lot in, te in terms of uh, diabetic wounds. For example, the inflammation phase is quite a lot um, and somehow the, the different phases becomes uh, disrupted eventually moving away from the normal wound healing process. There are several um, nanotechnological interventions for diabetic wound healing. Um, we have um, growth factors which are delivered to the diabetic wound site. We have growth factors like VEGF which is vascular endothelial growth factor or we have endothelial growth factor. We also have plasma tissue growth, growth factors which are, well, these are delivered to the wound site. Apart from this, we also have antimicrobials which are delivered to the wound site. For example, curcumin is a very classical example. We also have um, nano carriers. These are basically nanoparticles. For example, we have gold nanoparticles. We have silver nanoparticles. We have uh, chitosan-based nanoparticles. Now, our review actually tries to cover the literature on these substances. Now, there are several interventions to treat diabetic wounds, but we should understand that all these studies, uh, majority of them at least, they cover or uh, they are done uh, through in vitro process. Now, we will only get a real understanding when these are done on in vivo basis. Well, coming on to future directions, now, um, future directions may probably involve uh, these uh, nanotechnological processes which could regulate each phase of uh, diabetic wound healing. Finally, I'd like to thank all my team members who are part of this review and, and thank you for watching.